Lately, I've been steering clear of Greenfield projects. I haven't really added a ton of my own projects that I've written from scratch to my GitHub profile. I've mostly been contributing to other open source projects. So I've been working on a lot of different repositories with code that I did not author. This is a bit tricky because that means that you kind of have to figure it out as you go. And you don't want to spend too much time trying to figure out how every single little piece works, but you do need to know enough to be able to do bug fixes or introduce new features without having any regressions or to the best of your ability at least. Here is some of what I've learned by hopping around a lot of different repos over the last little while. Get good with your tools. One of the most helpful things that I do is stepping through the tests in a debugger. If there's a bug fix that I want to do, I'll actually use all of the steps to reproduce to create a failing test and then step through it in the debugger and try and figure out why it's failing. I find this a really great way to just get familiar with one single piece of functionality within a larger system. Shockingly, my Doom Emacs debugger is working, but I use the terminal version of Emacs. I don't know if or how to get Doom working with like the GUI version. The downside of that one is it doesn't show breakpoints. So I can't actually like really use it practically for debugging. So shameless, but also shameful confession. I use VS Code's debugger when I debug my code. Another thing that I do if I'm trying to narrow down where in the code I should focus, I'll typically search for key terms. These days I often start with the tests. So I'll look and see which tests have the behavior that I'm trying to understand more. And then I'll kind of just deep dive and either do go to definition or sometimes if there's certain terms that come up and I'm just a little unfamiliar, I will use a global search or search the current directory, current buffer, whatever. But I basically am relying on like go to definition, get references and search to try and understand the behavior. Another great example on this actually is if the documentations are not great for the current project, I really like to use source graph to search for how those functions are being used in other people's projects. I actually find that super, super helpful, especially if they don't have a test for it or there's yeah just nowhere documented on how you're actually supposed to use that function. It can be real helpful to get some running working examples of that. This is not sponsored by Sourcegraph, by the way. All right, the last thing that I always do is I draw things out. I'm talking pen to paper. Gen Alpha doesn't even know what that is. I swear I do like these little mind maps and I just like draw out all of those little relationships and it makes it so much easier to understand where data is flowing, what's happening, it also is where I jot down all of my questions that come up. I'm like, maybe it's an issue with this part, but let's keep stepping through with the debugger. And this is also where I will take note of if there are parts of the documentation that's unclear or like where things are unclear. I'll often look back on these drawings or notes to figure out where we can improve our documentation of the project. That's it. Those tips help me jump around a lot between very many projects and so far so good. Let me know if you have any tips for being even more adaptable. So far, these have been working pretty well and I've gotten a lot more comfortable working on code bases that I don't quite understand. I do really think that tests should be like the first thing that you look at if you are trying to understand a new project. They're really the bread and butter as to like how this thing works at a really high level. And then you can kind of like dive deeper as much as you need to, to like really get a solid understanding of the project. That's all for me. Bye-bye. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.